Apples to apples. That means nothing. Buongiorno. This is Andy Hop, and I'm very interested in what makes romance work, and that is why I am here with Dice Squad. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dice Squad. I am Marshall Dice, also as Adam Campbell. General Dice, Todd Evangelista. And this is Dice Squad, the only show where we... I'm king of the speed games. That's right, where we... Are Amish. That is correct. We are Amish. We are blitzing, I meant to say. Sorry. <laughs> because the game we're doing today is Dutch Blitz. Yeah. That is right. Yes, and what? this is another of our classic game reviews. That is correct. Woohoo! So! we got to get our space ready to play. That is correct. Now, many of you may know this game as Nerds. Or Solitaire. Or some kind of Solitaire. But, and you'll see the solitaire mechanisms as we play, but we're going to teach you Dutch Blitz from the Dutch Blitz Company. Now, we are playing the two-player version. So the first thing you do is you pick a color, blue, green, yellow, and that has, the, mine is a plow. Or you pick your favorite Amish tool. General, oh. pick the plow. You pick the carriage. I pick the carriage there's because of easy transport. There's a pump and there's... Uh, a bucket. Apparently, General likes to, to, to plow the and fields. Yellow and green. So, in any case, I picked blue. In a two player game, this is how you set up. But in a three, four player game, you only have three cards in this area. This is called your post area. Those are for your post piles. Since we're playing two player, we've got five. Then, this is your blitz pile. You put ten cards face up in that pile. This is called your wood pile, also known as the discard pile. And this is your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, now, <coughs> this is the area that we're going to play in. Anytime you get a one, you throw it into there. And those cards have to match the color that you play on them. And they go up, one through ten. Because there's one through ten in this game. In Nerds, it's ace through king. That is correct. <laughs> so... Um, these, however, go down from 10 to 1, and they go, um, they go alternating. The reds and the blues have boys on them. The greens and the yellows have girls on them. You must alternate, and that is a very difficult thing to think about as you're trying to hurry through. Now, uh... When you get stuck, you take your top three cards and you pull, pull them off and you put them in your wood pile and then you can play from top down. And a lot of times that cycle, it just, it just keeps, you keep cycling through, cycling through, you don't get anything. Now, one of the things that you can also do is I would throw this one out into the middle, but uh, you can... Um, Oh, here we go. You got a seven and a six, a boy and a girl. You could take that one off and put it there and then use your blitz card to fill in the blank. Correct. Um, so you're the master at this game, so I'm predicting that I will lose. Also, Mom, even though, Mama Dice taught this game to yeah, me a long time ago. Galaxy yeah. far, far away. Yeah, that's where she's from, all right. That's right. So in any case... Let's get let's get cracking, shall we? Uh, we forgot a rule, though, didn't we? What is the rule? You're not allowed to play with two hands. General dice one, won that the hard way. One, one hand holds uh, your one hand holds the hands, and also we should also mention that if you're left-handed, you can put your blitz pile here and your 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 wood pile here and hold the uh, the the hand in your your right hand. Ned Flanders would be proud. Yes. All right, now we're gonna get we're gonna get going, but we have to mention you're the scorekeeper. We already played one round. It's pretty close, thirteen to sixteen. I'm losing, of course. You won that round. Yes. Because, but it, when you get rid of all your blitz cards, that signals the end of the game. You say blitz, and doesn't mean that you're going to win the game though, because you count 
the other person or people count up how many cards they have in their blitz and they double it and that's their negative score then you count up how many points are in the middle and that's your positive score correct so i had negative i had two cards that's negative four i had 17 you had 16 so it was pretty close closer than i expected it to be but we're going to keep we're going to keep playing here if there's a mistake made you yell dutch and the game stops and, and then the mistake is fixed all right you ready you are starting it here we go ready three two one let's do it thank you Ooh, not what i wanted but i will put that five there and the six Some cards there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I played it a strange way. I was mostly putting my my blitz cards. General Dice didn't shuffle his deck. Uh, I did shuffle my deck. No. I did not no. shuffle it seven times. No. Did not shuffle it one bit. I did too. No. Well, there is a strategy for you folks at home. Yeah. All right. Cheat. It's not cheating not to shuffle. No, it says shuffle in the in the thing. So, so in I fact, went. you shuffled it for me. Sure. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll give you half off. Go ahead. Now we count up. How many did you get stuck with there? Well, we I got put stuck these with six. aside, and we put these aside. So six is negative 12, and now you put those aside. And what, what's this one? Anyways, now we sort these out and see what we got. But I had a strange strategy there in that I was putting my blitz cards in my uh, in my wood pile just to get them out of the pile. I had 12. I also had 12. So All I right. broke even. All right. So you broke even, but I'm giving you half off. So you got six points there. So what's the score now? How many do you have? I had 12. So I have 25, and you have? 22. 22. So very close game. It's a very close. This game can be very close, even if you're like me with – slow mind and hand but i am now the king of the speed games so that is dutch blitz and there are many versions of the game but this is the one we have uh this is a game that you can take to camp you can play you got to play with you got to play with more than one deck and you got to be able to tell the decks apart though uh, if you're going to play with regular playing cards. So, uh, for uh, a rating, how do you, we do you this? You're going to take my line here, too? I'm so just you, asking. You, you took the game. Now you're going to take my line, General? Really? Uh, you're going that far? Yes, I am. How? F how, how? We're going to rate it from 1 to 10, with 10 being the, the best. best and one being the worst. But since this is Dutch Blitz, we'll have ten be the best and one be the worst. That made no sense. But uh – Because -huh. you count up. Yeah. That's right. So um, I would give this – I think give it's – Give this a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. This is under various names. I never played it as Nerds, though. 
but there's a lot of variations too. You you say you know some variations as well to the regular one. That is correct. I would say this is better than sorry. I would say it's better than the tangent bound game. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 4.5. So if you're at camp and you're really bored, this might be the game for you. Also, it's nice family game. So let me get you this know what? Me, me no, get no, this, no, wait. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Let me get this straight. So you beat me. Uh-huh. You say it's better than Starry, and yet you give it a 4.5. That's pretty low, Jim. I think I give That's Starry a That's pretty diabolical three. of you. You're right. Because it's a family game and because it can be useful to get people into gaming, I'm going to give it a 0.5 bump up to 5. How generous of you. No, you're right. I shouldn't. 4.5. Final answer. <laughs> All right. So... So that is Dutch, Dutch Blitz, Blitz, a classic game that's been around a long, long time under various names. That is correct. We don't really even know how long it's been around. That is true. But we got to get in our horse-drawn buggy and carriage and get out of here. Yes, yes. Get, get over to the old Amish market. But from all of us at Dice Squad, this is Marshall Dice, also knows Adam Campbell. All my Amish family is calling me on my cell phones. General Dice, Todd Evangelista. Saying... Keep blitz in America. Yeah. That's a German. Taught this game yeah. well. Yeah, you play you play this game quite a bit.